A Nature Walk I went for a walk over the dunes again this morning to the sea, then turned right along the surf, rounded a naked headland, and returned along the inlet shore. It was muggy, sunny, the wind from the sea steady and high, crisp in the running sand. Some breakthroughs of sun, but after a bit, continuous overcast. The walk liberating, I was released from forms, from the perpendicular, straight lines, blocks, boxes, binds of thought, into the hues, shadings, rises, flowing bends and blends of sight. I allow myself eddies of meaning yield to a direction of significance running like a stream through the geography of my work. You can find in my sayings swerves of action, like the inlet's cutting edge. There are dunes of motion, organizations of grass, white sandy paths of remembrance in the overall wandering of mirroring mind. But overall is beyond me, is the sum of these events I cannot draw, the ledger I cannot keep, the accounting beyond the account. In nature there are few sharp lines. There are areas of primrose more or less dispersed, disorderly orders of bayberry, between the rows of dunes, irregular swamps of reeds, though not reeds alone, but grass, bayberry, yarrow, all, predominantly reeds. I have reached no conclusions, have erected no boundaries, shutting out and shutting in, separating inside from outside. I have drawn no lines. As manifold events of sand change the dune shape that will not be the same shape tomorrow, so I am willing to go along, to accept the becoming thought, to stake off no beginnings or ends, establish no walls. By transition, the land falls from grassy dunes to creek to under creek, <clears throat> but there are no lines, though change in that transition is clear as any sharpness, but sharpness spread out, allowed to occur over a wider range than mental lines can keep. The moon was full last night, Today, low tide was low. Black shoals of muscles exposed to the risk of air and earlier of sun waved in and out with a waterline, waterline inexact, caught always in the event of change. A young model gull stood free on the shoals and ate to vomit him. Another gull, squawking possession, cracked a crab, picked out the entrails, swallowed the soft shell legs, a least sandpiper running into snatch leftover bits. Risk is full. Every living thing in siege. The demand is life, to keep life. The small, white, black-legged egret how beautiful, quietly stalks and spears the shallows, darts to shore to stab what I couldn't see against the black mud flats. A frightened fiddler crab? The news to my left over the dunes and reeds and bayberry clumps was fall, thousands of tree swallows gathering for flight, an order held in constant change a congregation rich with entropy, nevertheless separable, noticeable as one event, not chaos. Preparations for flight from winter, 
cheat, 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 wings rifling the green clumps, beaks at the bay berries, a perception full of wind, flight, curve, sound, the possibility of rule as the sum of rulelessness, the field of action with moving incalculable center. In the smaller view, order tight with shape, blue tiny flowers on a leafless weed, carapace of crab, snail shell, pulsations of order in the bellies of minnows, order swallowed, broken down, transferred through membranes to strengthen larger orders. But in the large view, no lines or changeless shapes the working in and out, together and against, of millions of events. This so that I make no form of formlessness. Orders as summaries, as outcomes of actions override or in some way result, not predictably. Seeing me gain the top of a dune, the swallows could take flight. Some other fields of bayberry could enter fall berryless, and there is serenity. No arranged terror, no forcing of image, plan, or thought, no propaganda, no humbling of reality to precept. Terror pervades but is not arranged. All possibilities of escape open, no route shut, except in the sudden loss of all routes. I see narrow orders, limited tightness, but will not run to that easy victory. Still around the looser, wider forces work. I will try to fasten into order, enlarging grasps of dis disorder, widening scope, but enjoying the freedom that scope eludes my grasp that there is no finality of vision, that I have perceived nothing completely, that tomorrow a new walk is a new walk.